Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is October 1st, 2020. And I have something to share with you guys. Actually, two things I want to share with you. And you guys all know that I'm watching Hanukkah, December 14th, 2020, through the Great Conjunction on December 21st. Okay. So I did something here, and I found something very amazing, incredibly amazing, and just stick with me a few minutes to let me walk you through what I found here, okay? I did a day count from May 14th, 1948 to December 14th, 2020, midweek Hanukkah, okay? Now, the... the the most important revelation is at the end of this, but let me walk you through my interpretation of this uh, in, before we get to the end portion of it. Okay, the uh, day count for May 14th, 1948 to December 14th, 2020 is 26,512 days. Okay, we know that 26, if we break this down try to get understanding from the Strong's Concordance. The number 26 is Greek for agape, love. In Hebrew, it's, it's uh, 26 is my father. Love of my father, 26. We know that 26 is also the number of God, literally both in Hebrew and English. The Bible's number 26, the amazing number of God and Jesus, if we pay special attention to number 26, because the number text associations to its meanings are truly incredible, and I'm only going to share three with you, but the list is very extensive about the importance of the number 26 connected to God. Examine the list of clues below and see if you don't agree that number 26 is a number for a holy and a righteous God. More specifically, number 26 seems a number purely about God and Jesus. The Hebrew name for God, Yahweh, has a numerical value of 26. The Hebraic letters Yahweh are assigned gematria, numeric values of 10, 5, 6, and 5, which together add up to 26. Okay. The 26th verse of the Bible speaks of the image of God, Genesis 1.26. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And if you run the value in English, the value for the letter of God's name is 26 in English. Not only in Hebrew, but also in English. English. Interestingly enough, and not likely a coincidence, if you sign a Gematria, gematria, numeric value of 1 to 26 to each letter of the alphabet. The characters God have values of 7, 15, and 4, which also add to 26. Okay, so 26, 26,512. If we take the number 500, in Greek is Antichrist. And in Hebrew is God ascends. So we have a, a double, you know, the Antichrist wanting to take on the characteristics of God. Well, at the same time, God ascending. Okay, he wants to ascend to his throne as God. But then God is going to come down and take his people and ascend back up to heaven with the rapture of the church. And then we have the connection to the number 12, 26,512. 12 in the Greek is bottomless, which comes from where it talks in Revelation about bottomless pit. The, the abyss, the bottomless pit is the number 12. And in Hebrew, number 12 is destruction. So we have this, this message that goes with this day count. 26,512, God, Agape, Father. Then we have Antichrist, God Ascending. And we have bottomless pit and destruction. Now, before I get into the main 
piece of information from this. Okay. I want to go over again what we are watching. Okay, we're watching Hanukkah, right? Now, follow with me as I share this because this is incredible what I found, okay? We're watching Hanukkah, December 14, 2020. It's midweek from Pentecost in 2017, which was the 70th Pentecost of Israel. It was also the 50-year anniversary of the Six-Day War, the 70th and the 50th anniversaries of the two most important key days of Israel began on June 4th, 2017. Then we're watching 1290 days later, which falls on Hanukkah, which is also midway point on the two great American eclipses. This all ties into a seven year timeline going to June 4th, 2024. We're watching Hanukkah. Okay, this is the total solar eclipse. It's the Gemini meteor shower. And it's the representation of the war in heaven between Jupiter and Saturn, the rise of the Antichrist, the great conjunction on December 21st. So we're watching this window, and it's specifically the middle point on the two great American eclipses. Okay, now, what do we find if we go... 26,512 days from May 14th, 1948 to midweek Hanukkah, December 14th, 2020. Verse 26,512 of the Bible. Okay. I can show you this in a site. Let me pull this up for you guys. Actually, let me walk you through this first and then I'll show you how we can see this and what site gives us this information. So I want to go to the 26,512th verse of the Bible. What does it bring us to? It brings us to John 10.30. I and my Father are one. And this was spoken on Hanukkah. I have shared with you how the revelation of Jesus Christ on Hanukkah from John 10... John 10, 22 through 30, it's the Feast of Dedication, it's winter, Jesus gave the greatest revelation about himself, and that's what we're watching. Is this going to be the greatest revelation of Jesus Christ about himself when he comes for his church on Hanukkah, okay, and the, this verse, okay, Spoken on Hanukkah, because in John 10, 22, it was Jerusalem, it was the Feast of Dedication, it was winter, okay? I and my Father are one. And remember the 26, 5, 12. What does it mean? God, agape, Father. I and my Father are one. Verse number 26,005. Hundred and twelve. Let me show you the site the, where you can see this. Okay, this can be found at Bible Wheel. Okay, Bible Wheel. I'll leave the link to this site. And you see here, uh, verse number 26,512. John 10.30, I and my Father are one. Down here you have the option. You can search by number of words. Like if you wanted to find out the 26,512th word in the Bible, we could check that out. 26,512. Let's see. Um, Let's see. No, that's value of words. It only works with verse order. 26,512. Okay, so there, there you go. This is how I came up with that. Okay, now, this is spoken on Hanukkah. Okay, we're watching December 14th, right? Okay, we're watching December 14th. So I want to run a day count from 26,500, from, from the, the rebirth of Israel. I want to run a day, day count, and I come up with 26,512 days, and... 
the verse number 26,512 brings us exactly to the passage in John where Jesus is celebrating Hanukkah and reveals himself as God. I and my Father are one. Okay, now before I close, I want to share one more thing with you. Okay, I shared this uh, message by Leland Jones as he's talking about the December 14th eclipse connecting to the seventh trumpet. Very important information that he's sharing. There's a lot of things we differ on as far as uh, interpretation, but he is definitely on board with the uh, mid-tribulation that it started in 2017 was the beginning of the seven years and uh, December 14th eclipse is a sign in the heavens of the mid tribulation the seventh trumpet and coinciding with the beginning time of the bowls of wrath which would be the reign of the antichrist and the great tribulation the wrath of God that is going to begin but I wanted to share a comment with you that was given to me under this video. And I want you all to pray with me about this because uh, this would be something that God would have to do to get the word out. But uh, Carenza Grigson shares, Hi, Brother Steve. The Lord gave me a message this morning. This was a few days ago. He said, This message of the rapture 14 December 2020 will go to the world this message of rapture 14 December 2020 will go to the world but in the process many branches that are currently on the tree will be cut off because they have doctrinal error okay so I shared a comment underneath that. I said, I'm going to commit this word to prayer, which I am doing, asking the Lord what he would have me to do or whatever he would want to do, that his will would be done if this is his message. And he is going to somehow make this message go viral. A 14 December 2020 rapture a message that will go to the world. Only God could make that viral if it's his will. So um, I would ask you all to pray about that with us and um, commit that to prayer and also consider that the second part of this word that in the process, many branches that are currently on the tree will be cut off because they have doctrinal error. And there's so many differing camps within the body of Christ and even within the rapture watchers and the watchmen. And it's like uh, most can't agree on much of anything. And um, very two, very, very differing camps, okay? And uh, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of just junk stuff going around. Uh, within the Watchman community and within the uh, within the Rapture Watchers, and uh, I definitely see that uh, a lot of branches are going to be cut off with the doctrinal error. I can say I agree with that word. It really resounds in my spirit that this is where we are. This is what is going to happen. This is what has to happen. You know, Jesus said. Uh, the way to eternal life is a narrow road and few will, will find it. So I, I think that when it does come, do, to come time for the rapture of the church, the number is going to be painstakingly low as to how many people are actually going to go in the rapture. The great harvest is going to come during the great tribulation when multitudes come out of the great tribulation washing their clothes in the blood of the lamb because they denied not their life unto the death and they did not take the mark of the beast they did not worship the beast or his image 
they did not take the number of the beast and um, this would be the great harvest that is coming during the great tribulation with the tribulation saints those that are left behind because of doctrinal error and because of wrong living um, and so um, anyway this uh, piece of information right here is just a just a fact okay 26,512 days from Israel's rebirth to midweek Hanukkah and it just by chance by happenstance by coincidence brings us to the greatest revelation of Jesus Christ about himself spoken on Hanukkah I and my father are one okay so I pray you guys are blessed I will continue to watch continue to seek the Lord about what he would have me to share as we lead up to as we lead up to Hanukkah which is right now let's see how many days we have left right now countdown clock to midnight Jerusalem December 14th 2020 74 days are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ I pray you're blessed this is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed <laughs>